Hello everyone, it's me, Dr. Dalvi, your friendly Dr. To the Barrio and Scholarships aficionado. <laughs> Question! What do we use when cleaning our hands? Is it alcohol or soap? We have the answer just for you. Love, love, love! We are going to answer three commonly asked questions today. First question, what do we use when cleaning our hands? Is it going to be alcohol or soap? Which of the two? Second question, can we use homemade disinfectant in cleaning our hands? So we actually made a video on how to make your homemade disinfectant. For those who haven't seen it, I'm gonna place a link at the end of the video and I'm also gonna place the same link on the description box below, okay? Third and last question that we're going to answer, if there's no alcohol, what do we use in cleaning our hands? So those are the three questions that we're going to answer and we're gonna answer them now. So make sure you are subscribed to our YouTube channel, Dr. Dalvi, so you can be updated with health tips on how to fight coronavirus disease or COVID-19. Love, love, love. A lot of us have been asking, what do we use when cleaning our hands? Is it going to be soap or alcohol? Well, we are going to follow the recommendations of the World Health Organization. Yay! Based on the guidelines of the World Health Organization, there are two scenarios. One, when our hands are visibly dirty, yes, but my hands are not dirty. Yes, believe me. <laughs> Second scenario, when our hands are not visibly dirty. Let's go to the first scenario. Our hands are visibly dirty. When does this happen? Usually, it happens when we cough or sneeze, you know? Also, when you see body fluids. I mean, that's obvious contamination of your hand. When you cough or sneeze and you have body fluids, saliva, phlegm on your hands, they qualify for the first scenario. So on that scenario, when our hands are visibly dirty, what do we use? Well, our guy, when our hands are visibly dirty, is soap. Yes. Soap and clean running water. These are what we use when our hands are visibly dirty. Make sure to wash your hands for at least 20 seconds when your hands are visibly dirty, okay? Second scenario, what do we use when our hands are not visibly dirty? Well, we have two options for that. First option, again, soap and clean running water, yay! And the second option is alcohol, yes. When our hands are not visibly dirty, just like in this scenario, look, my hands are not visibly dirty. Uh-huh, uh-huh, you got it. <laughs> Since my hands are not visibly dirty, I have two options, whether to use alcohol or soap and clean running water. I also wanna emphasize that when you are buying alcohol, it's very important that you buy the alcohol that's at least 70% solution, okay? What do we mean by this? Take a look at this one. So this is not a sponsored ad, but we're just gonna focus on the product packaging to teach a lesson that you're gonna look for this one, okay? You read that, that's 70% solution. I am emphasizing this because in some other products, you would read this alcohol kills 99.99% .99 of germs. Mm-hmm. Now some people get confused when they read the number 99.99%, .99 they automatically assume that, hey, this kills 99.99% of germs, then it must be good. It must be more than 70% because that number, 99.99, .99, is more than 70%. So they get confused. So make sure that you actually read the label and look for the number again. This one, it's 70% solution. That's the thing that we wanna look at and look for in the packaging. Y'all read it properly, don't get confused, okay? You got me. So just to summarize the recommendations of the World Health Organization, if our hands are visibly dirty, what do we use? You gotta read that, it's soap, all right. Makes sense. Now our second scenario, our hands are not visibly dirty. What are our two options? Soap and alcohol. Yay! Moving on to the second question. Can we use the homemade disinfectant in cleaning our hands? This becomes very important because we've run out of supplies of alcohol, disinfectants, and other products at the supermarket. So, can we use the homemade disinfectant in cleaning our two beautiful hands? Well, the answer is no. Nah, uh uh The homemade disinfectant was formulated to disinfect objects and high-touch surfaces like doorknobs, 
tables, chairs, etc. So you cannot use the homemade disinfectant on your hands. Okay? Nah, -uh -uh. you must not, you should not use the homemade disinfectant on your hands. So for those who haven't seen it, we can actually make our homemade disinfectant using bleach and clean water. How to do that? I'm gonna place a link at the end of this video and on the description box below. Go watch it and learn how to make your homemade disinfectant. On to the last question. When there's no alcohol, what do we use when cleaning our hands? Well, it's still this guy. Yes, it's the soap, soap, soap. <laughs> a lot of us have focused our attention on alcohol, disinfectants. We forgot the value of soap in clean running water. Those are our answers to the three commonly asked questions about what to use when cleaning our hands. So please make sure you wash your hands with soap in clean running water, especially when they are visibly dirty, okay? You gotta wash them before and after eating, before and after preparing your food, that's very important. Since everyone is advised to practice social distancing and to stay at home, those preparing food should observe proper hand hygiene and make sure to wash your hands before and after preparing food for everybody, right? Because if that one person won't be careful, mm -mm -mm, everyone might be at risk for getting infected with COVID-19. So make sure you clean, wash your hands with soap and running water before and after preparing food. You gotta wash your hands as well after going to the bathroom and after you cough, blow your nose, and after you sneeze, okay? Make sure you observe proper hand hygiene. It's one of our most powerful tools in preventing the spread of coronavirus disease or COVID-19, okay? I frequently post videos about how to protect yourself against COVID-19. So again, make sure you are subscribed to our channel so that you can receive timely updates and health tips about COVID-19. Thank you for watching. Please take care of yourselves and see you in our next vlog. Love, love, love.